when you get locked up, you truly go through the five stages of grief. And by the time Candace entered the Danbury Correctional Facility, her process began right on cue. I was kind of in denial about the actual severity of the situation. From my perspective, I'm just this young kid robbing banks with no intention to hurt anybody. And then one day it came over me like, I became the bully that I didn't like, you know, like my dad. And that's the last person she wanted to be like. So Candace got to work on herself. I started to apologize like in a universal way to people that I've hurt and just, you know, like pray that they were healing from what I've done. I had to search for it for a long time, but over time I felt peace. I really wanted to show everybody that I could come back from this. Almost 10 years later, Candace was noticed for her good behavior and walked out of the Danbury pen, grown. I walked in there, a 19-year-old little girl with a chip on her shoulder and rage in her soul. And I walked out of there a woman with a plan, with a desire to get better. And I didn't realize how good it was going to feel. And I, like, get overwhelmed. Like, my grandma's hugging me, Brittany's hugging me, my mom's hugging me. And Capone came to me with his tail wagging. I was happy. I was excited to see her, but we knew that her coming out of prison, she was gonna have to face all these struggles, you know? It was like, what is she gonna do? And like always, Candace started figuring out how to survive. So from the moment I came home from, from prison, it was all work, no play. I had an opportunity to go back to school to become an esthetician, and I have an opportunity to open a business in a few months. At the end of the day, that's what's up. For example, when looking at a group of high achievers, researchers found that 75% had experienced a critical childhood trauma, just like Kansas. So if she sets her mind to it, the odds are in her favor. The resilience gained from all that pain can serve her well. For a long time, on top of all the mental scars, I would look in the mirror and not love what I saw. Anybody who's had a lot of trauma and abuse probably has low self-esteem. And the easiest thing to do is look in the mirror and see everything wrong with yourself. And that's what I feel this industry offers me. It offers me a place to empower somebody by making them happy with themselves. Now that's what I'm talking about. Candace is not at all close to the person that she was when she went into prison. She's better than I would have ever imagined. She beat all the odds again. I've worked really hard to recreate a life that I could be proud of. And I think what I exemplify now for my younger generation, my nieces, my nephews, I'm showing them what strength looks like, perseverance. So use Candace's story as a life lesson learned. Be careful what you chase because in the blink of an eye, anyone can get caught up. And you don't want that. Trust. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.